Okay, here you're using your base that you just learned from 2.3, but then you're also learning one other rule. So you know that if you have, you're multiplying the, you're multiplying the x's and the y's and they have the same base, you add the exponents. Well, look at this right here. What if you have x to the negative three to the two on the outside of the parentheses? What do you do with those? Do you add those as well? No, you multiply them, okay? So like this x right here is gonna be x to the negative three times two. So that's gonna be negative three times two is negative six. So that x is gonna be x to the negative six. Okay, so what I usually do is I will go copy this by making those appropriate changes. And I'm gonna show you what happens over here when there's two of them in there. So you have x to the one, I'm gonna put that there because it's invisible, right? x to the negative six, y to the one. <clears throat> now you have two things in parentheses. This is an invisible one. So x to the one times negative three, <clears throat> you have x to the negative three. y to the negative two times negative three, you have y to the six, okay? Okay, go to your denominator. <clears throat> You have y to the 2 times 3, so that's y to the x, 6, turn them. y to the negative 3. x to the 2 times 3, so that's going to be x to the 6. Okay, now let's put them all in, let's, well, let's combine them first, turn them. And then we'll put them all into the numerator. So you have 1, my, uh, one plus negative 6 plus negative 3, so that's 1 minus 6. 6 is negative 5, negative 5 plus negative 3 is negative 8, x to the negative 8. y to the 1 minus, or plus 6 is going to be y to the 7. Okay, down here you have y to the 6 plus negative 3 is going to be y to the 3rd. And you have x to the 6. Right? Okay, then you're going to put it all into the numerator so that you can simplify it afterward. So you have x to the negative 8, y to the 7, keep those the same because they're on the numerator right now, then push this one up. y to the 3, so it's going to be negative 3, x to the negative 6, because it was positive 6, but we had to push it up to the, the numerator. Okay, so then you combine them again. x to the negative 8 plus negative 6 is going to be x to the negative 14. Then you have y to the 7 to the negative 3, so it's going to be y to the 4. Okay, so let's look at our different forms. We have it, if we want it in the numerator, it is in the numerator, x to the negative 14, y to the four. Okay, what if we want them both positive? If we want them both positive, we need to put that x into the denominator because it's negative right now. So you go y to the fourth over x to the 14, right? Because that'll make it positive when you bring it down. If you want them both negative, I'm gonna put it over here so you can see it, if you want them both negative, well, x is negative, so you're going to keep x on the top and put y on the bottom. y to the negative 4. Okay? If your head is spinning, just watch it again, take it slowly, or stop the video and try to work it out. Try to get the same answer, and then maybe you'll have to watch it to see if what you're missing. Okay? Okay, back to more puzzles. Woo! <laughs> okay, look what it says in example 2.5. We're talking about circle relationships. The area of a circle is 12.2 meters squared. What is the approximate circumference of the circle? Do you know? No. Do you know where to start? Maybe, right? Guys, oh, I didn't erase this one. It's gonna bother me. Okay, guys, please, please, please obey me on this one, okay? Whenever you see something like this, the area of the circle is, and it gives you the answer. First thing you do, repeat this after me. Write the formula. What's the first thing you do? Write the formula. What's the first thing you do? Write the formula. Okay, for real guys, as soon as you see that they are talking about a formula, area of a circle, and they give you the answer, you need to write that formula because you're about to have to solve for something that's gonna help you answer the question. Okay, so you're gonna write the formula. You're gonna say pi r squared equals, because they just told you what it equals, 12.2, okay? That's what you're gonna write as the very first thing. Now you're gonna look at it and say like, well, I still can't get the circumference out of there. There is no circumference inside that, that formula. Well, of course not, but you need to solve for what? What are you gonna solve for in here? Pi? No, pi is already solved for. 
you're gonna solve for r, okay? So let's do that lickety split so that we can get to that circumference, okay? You gotta do these steps first. You can't just go straight from knowing the area to knowing the circumference. It's not gonna work that way, okay? It's a puzzle. So here we go, we're gonna go 3.14 r squared equals 12.2. Okay, how are we gonna get that r by itself? You're gonna divide by 3.14. So you got r squared equals 12.2 divided by 3.14. Make sure, please, I hope you have a calculator. Let me tell your mom you need one. Okay, 3.88. So now we have r squared equals 3.88. How are you gonna get that r by itself? You are going to do the opposite of what it's doing. It's squaring, right? What's opposite of squaring? Square root. Okay, now you see that exponent two there, you just square it because that's the opposite. So 3.88 square root, what's the square root of 3.88? Let's see. Ah. 1.97. Okay, is that what they got? Let's check, yep, 1.97. So now look, your radius is 1.97. Seven. And it's just that's not the circumference. <clears throat> in tanto. Okay, let's go over and do circumference. Circumference equals pi d, right? How do you get d? <clears throat> 1.97 times 2. So let's just do that. 3.14 times 1.97 times 2. And that's going to give us our happy answer. Let's do it. Times 2 times 3.14. 12.37. And that is your circumference, okay? It's just a puzzle, woohoo. Okay, one more example, then we're on to our practice. Okay, example 2.6, look what it says. The circumference of a circle is eight pi. What is the area of the circle? What do you do first? Boy, if you tell me I don't know what to do first, Michelle's got, I'm gonna cry. I have failed as a teacher. No, look, guys, if it says, the circumference of a circle is a pi. Ooh, you write your formula first. Pi d. That's the, the formula for, for um, circumference, right? Pi d equals a pi. Okay, well, that's like sweet action. So what does d equal? What's your diameter? Cancel out your pi because we're on the same side. If you don't believe me, just divide by pi and it's gonna do the same thing, okay? So your D equals eight. What are they asking you for? What's the area? Okay, well here we go, let's go over to this. Pi R squared is your area, right? We need the R, how do you get the R? Divide this guy by two, because remember the diameter is the whole thing, so that's eight divided by two is gonna give you four, so it's gonna be 3.14 times four squared, which is 16, right? And that will give you our area. Let's do it in the calculator. 3.14 times 16, Gives you 50.24. Now this is good for you to see. You get 50.24, because we did it like this. Their answer says 16 pi, and you're like, oh my goodness, I got the wrong answer. No, you didn't get the wrong answer. You wanna check it? Here's how you check to see if you got it right. Take your answer and divide by 3.14. Divide it by pi. You get 16. So yes, 16 pi and 3.14 are the exact same answer. Okay, just they write it in a different form. Okay, um, I could show you that form super easy. It's just this, look. If you want to do the area is pi r squared and you know that r squared is four to the two is 16, so that's how they do it. Pi r squared is pi 16, so 16 pi. And then you do any math. And you're like, wow, that's easier, Majeska. Yeah, it is, my brain doesn't work that way, but if your brain does, do it. Mine just doesn't do it automatically. Okay, let's move on to the practice. I'll read you the answers. Okay, here we go. Practice answers. A is negative 1 over 16. B is negative 1 over 16. C, I'll give you the three forms. All in the numerator is going to be x to the negative 1 or y to the 4th. And y to the 4th. All positive is going to be y to the 4th over x. And all negative is going to be x to the negative 1 over y to the negative 4. D is gonna give you 14 pi or 43.96. Okay, let's go ahead and start to solve these. Look at letter A. Negative 
Negative 4 to the negative 2, first thing you're going to do is put that on the bottom. Negative 4 to the 2, right? Okay? Put keep the parentheses if they're there, but they aren't there. So here we go. It's going to be 1 over negative 16. Okay? That negative can go anywhere. We just have to make sure that it is in the problem. Okay, look at letter B. I got the exact same answer, but you have parentheses and stuff to work with. So you got a negative, negative 4 to the negative 2. You're still going to put that right down into the bottom first. Right? Okay, put it in the bottom. You're going to keep that negative on the outside, so it's going to be negative 1 over negative 4 to the 2. 16. That's why your answer is still negative 1 over 16. Okay, look at letter C. Woohoo! I'm going to write this one really quickly. Here we go. Parentheses x to the 2, y to the negative 2 to the 0. Oh, you gotta remember where that zero is, right? What happens when there's a zero as an exponent? Make the whole thing one. Y to the negative eight, x to the four, y to the two, x to the three. Okay guys, as soon as you see that this is all, this is to the zero, it's one. Everything to the zero is one. Okay, this right here, you're gonna go x to the negative or to the positive 6 because it's negative 3 times negative 2 and y 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Okay, down at the bottom. Let's combine them now since we're already here. x is going to be x to the 7, 4 plus 3. Then y is going to be negative, two, negative 8 plus 2, which is negative 6. Okay, and then we're going to combine them all together. x to the 6, y to the negative 2 because they're already on the the numerator, x to the negative 7, because you're changing it, the sign, and y to the positive 6. Then combine them. 6 plus negative 7 is x to the negative 1. Negative 2 plus 6 is x, oops, sorry, y to the 4th. Okay? You can leave it like that. You can make them both positive by putting y, keeping y to the 4th on the top and putting y, putting x on the bottom. Or make them both negative by doing x to the negative 1 on top and y to the negative 4 on the bottom. Okay, and then letter D. Look what it says, the area of a circle is 49 pi. What are you going to do when you see, it already tells you what it is? You're going to write the formula, so here we go. Area is pi r squared equals 49 pi. You don't even care what you're looking for yet, you just want to solve for r. Cancel out your pi is r squared equals 49. Square root that, square root that, r equals 7. Then it asks you, what is the circumference? Go over here and write your circumference formula as pi d. So that means you have pi times 7 times 2 is 14. So you have 14 pi, or you can multiply that and you're going to get 43.96 when you multiply. Okay, there's all your answers. Have fun with lesson two. Let me know if you need any help. Um, three is looking a little funny and six is looking a little funny, but I do want you to try them before you call me saying, mm-mm, mm-mm, can't do it, because you can. Okay, thanks, bye.